Well, yesterday I sat down with Lauren, who from the ages of two until eight survived six agonizing years being held captive in this four by nine closet. Now, Lauren was tortured and starved by both her mother and stepfather, taken out of her prison only to be abused. Since her rescue, Lauren, known back then as the girl in the closet, says she continues to struggle to move forward with her life and suffers from flashbacks, nightmares, and night terrors that leave her absolutely paralyzed with fear. Now, Lauren's girlfriend, Janae, says that she has witnessed all of this firsthand and is terrified for Lauren and sometimes for herself. Here's what happened yesterday. A daughter born into the world under abusive circumstances. The emaciated, sick, covered in feces with her hair full of lice. Police say the little girl was caged in a closet, crying for help, and no one listened. 30-year-old Barbara Catherine Calhoun has six children, but police in Hutchins say only one of them was locked in this closet, which has been her prison for months and quite possibly years. Police say the girl's stepfather was afraid to intervene because he was afraid of his wife. She weighed only 25 pounds and was three feet tall, even though she was eight years old. She was severely malnourished. I went on Dr. Phil to get my story out there so that I can inform others so that maybe it wouldn't happen to another child and help the child. Frankly, things have gone well for you at times, but they've gone difficult for you at times as well, correct? Yes, sir. My life's been pretty hard. I've been struggling a lot. I hardly sleep anymore. My anxiety is terrible. I've tried to commit suicide over 30 times. I put a belt around my throat and I pulled it as tight as I could. I've jumped out of a moving car. I've overdosed a lot. I've taken anywhere from 60 sleeping pills to 160. Sometimes I have flashbacks about my past, my childhood. Sometimes when I have flashbacks, it's a Ken and Barbie beating me. I hardly sleep. I have night terrors. Every day I relive my past. It's like I'm that child again. Every day. I can feel the pain and the torture that I go through. So for you, going to sleep is like going back into that cave. Yes. But when you get in there, your legs won't move. You can't run, you can't wake up, you can't get out. When Janae experiences this during the night or when you're asleep, she can get very out of control, right? Yes, she can get very violent. I can't touch Lauren when she's having a night terror. If you do, she will hurt you. The first night terror that I encountered, I tried to wake her up and she got on top of me and tried to choke me. When Lauren drinks, she wants to fight anyone. She becomes a different person. One night, Lauren's drinking heavily. She just starts screaming, cussing everyone out. She said, if I'm gonna die, you're gonna die with me. She reaches over and jerks the steering wheel to where I almost run over a median and flip the car. These are the things that I listed as triggers. Anyone yelling or screaming, being touched, certainly by somebody you don't know, country music, smell of alcohol, smell of cigarettes, certain body odors. Tell people why country music is on the list. It's not just that you don't like country music. Ken and Barbie used to play country music all the time. And this was on the radio, on the table, outside the door to cover up any noise that you might be making inside. Yes. You've attempted suicide a number of times. How do you feel when you survive? That I failed. Do you really want to die or do you just want the pain to stop? I think I just want the pain to stop. I don't want to die, but I want it to end. Lauren was just two years old when...